All right, we are looking at an IFM digital pressure switch. This happens to be part number PN7070, but there are several numbers and models that are very consistent in the way they are set and the parameters that are available to you uh, to be adjusted or changed. We're gonna walk through a handful of the settings that we use here at All World Machinery. Just know there are, much, there are many more uh, available on this type of switch. So right now, we've got our 24 volts, we're powered, we see our display. Your menus can be accessed by this round, the, the round dot button, okay? Takes you to your menu and you can scroll using your up and down arrows. The first thing we're gonna look at is changing the orientation of the display. So right now, RP1, that's reading towards me. If you flip it over, you can see your RP1. I'm going to scroll down to, to EF and select. And then I'm gonna scroll all the way down to DIS, which is our abbreviation for display. Select, the default is D2. If I hold my down arrow, it'll start to change. And if I get to RD1 and select, you can see that the display flipped. It now faces your direction, DIS. You're also, your up and down arrows change orientation. So this is now your down and this is your up. It matches the display. You can scroll through these menus, but if you go up one to color, you can see right now that our color is red. The display is in red. There are, there, there's a green color option. There's also the option to have it change color when the switch is met. So right now you see red. I would hold my down arrow while it flashes, and that allows me to then scroll through my different color options. So right now I'm gonna select green for our color. And when we get back to the main display, you'll just see this will be in green. Okay. Uh, the other option we have for uh, in our EF category will be whether this switch is PNP or NPN. So in this, uh, this selection here, you can see right now it is set up for PNP. By holding the down arrow, it will flash, and you see it changed to NPN. We're gonna leave this one set as PNP, so I'll hit select, and then it's back to our menu. Okay. Also in this section, we have our units of measure. Okay, typically these come out of the box um, as bar. Your options are bar, megapascal or PSI. We will change these to PSI. So right now you see the indication is bar. Hold my down arrow and it's starting to scroll through my three options, bar, MPA, and PSI. I'm gonna select PSI. You can use your down arrow to get back out of this menu or if you wait a period of time, it will take you back to the main display but if I down arrow all the way out of the, the selection, it'll take me back. So now you can see my orientation has changed. My color is green. We've selected PSI and we've kept this set at, as a PNP switch. The last thing we do usually is set the set points. There are two available as far as our pressures. So by hitting the menu key, we'll, dis we'll see SP1 displayed. Okay, if I hold this down, scratch that, hit menu again, it will display where your current set point is. This is 650 PSI. By holding the down arrow, it will flash and it will allow you to change this then by using your up and down arrow. Okay, menu to save, scroll down, You'll see set point two. This is for uh, if you wanted a change in status at a certain pressure. Menu key, this one's currently set at 1,000. Hold my down arrow. 
you can see the status start to change. Okay, we'll set that to 900. Okay, so now, uh, down arrow through the scrolling menu. Now when you get back to the main display, this will be displaying your actual pressure. Typically, on our set points, we want those to be just below system pressure or the pressure that you're, you desire at your device. Um, so if you were looking at a 2000 PSI cylinder, for example, you probably want your switch set roughly at a 1900 or just below that so you're not right on the edge of what the pressure switch is going to see for limit.